Hello everyone. Today we'll be reading Oi Cat by Kess Gray and Jim Field. Oi Cat! Step away from the net, said the frog. But I hate nets, said the cat. Nets are all nasty and nibbly and they keep biting me on the bottom. Why do you keep sitting on them then? asked the dog. Why don't you sit on a mat instead? Because the frogs changed the rules, sighed the cat, remember? That's right, smiled the frog. I've changed the rules. Dogs used to sit on frogs, but now they sit on logs. And cats used to sit on mats, but now they sit on nets. It's a shame you're not a pony, said the dog. If you were a pony, you could sit on some macaroni. Just my luck, said the cat. Macaroni won't nibble your bottom, said the dog. Will you stop talking about my bottom, said the cat. My bottom is none of your business. If you were a chick, you could sit on a brick, smiled the frog. If you were a bowl, you could sit on a bowl. If you were a leech, you could sit on a peach. If you were a duck, you could sit on a truck. Well, I'm not a chick, am I? frowned the cat. Or a vole, or a leech, or a duck. You're a cat, said the dog. On a net, smiled the frog. And rules are rules. If you were an alpaca, you could sit on a cream cracker, said the dog. If you were a mink, you could sit on a sink. If you were an armadillo, you could sit on a pillow. A lovely, soft, comfy pillow. If you were a lark, you could sit on the shark, said the frog. Unbelievable, said the cat. If you were a shrimp, you could sit on a chimp, said the dog. If you were a bunny, you could sit on some honey. If you were a pheasant, you could sit on a present. Whatever he sits on, it has to rhyme with cat, said the frog. If you were a troll, you could sit on a doll. Perhaps you could sit on a bat, said the dog. Instead of a mat or a gnat, you could sit on a cricket bat, or a baseball bat, or a softball bat. Bats sit on bats, said the frog. What if you were a kitty instead of a cat, said the dog. If you were a kitty, you could sit on something pretty, like a pretty flamingo or some sparkly bows or some lovely colourful streamers. Dingoes sit on flamingos, crows sit on bows and lemurs sit on streamers, said the frog. How about Mog? said the dog. If you were a mog, you could sit on a clog or a cog. Hogs sit on clogs, said the frog, and cogs when there's a shortage of clogs. Wait a moment, smiled the cat. If I was a mog, I could sit on a... Step away from the frog frowned the frog. Yes, no one can sit on a frog, nodded the dog. It has to be something that rhymes with frog, or mog, or clog, or cog. Hmm, said the cat. What else rhymes with mog, frog, clog, and cog? Let me think. Gog, jog, bog, rog, tog, vog, zog, quog, wog, sog, pog. Hmm. Dog, said the dog. Dog rhymes with frog, mog and clog. 
So it does, smiled the cat. So it does, clapped the frog. I wish I hadn't said that, said the dog. That was Oi Cat by Kess Gray and Jim Field. Bye-bye, everyone.